Hey guys, it's Three. So welcome back to Intro to Lighting Part Three. Today we're going to be looking at our other two post-processing effects that we didn't look at in the last video. And if you do enjoy the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and join the Discord down below. I made an announcement about this yesterday in the previous video, but we definitely do a lot of fun stuff over there. We'll do events, we'll do giveaways. We're going to have we have channels where you can share your creations, all that good stuff. Definitely check it out. But anyways, guys, let's jump right into the video. So I have my post-processing effects from yesterday, and we're just going to add on to this. Today we're going to add in color correction and bloom. But first, let's look at our color correction. So go ahead and add color correction. There's not anything in here yet, but we'll get to all this. But our properties are brightness, contrast, saturation, and tint color. If you ever use like any editing software or camera or anything, you should kind of understand what these do. But if you don't, we'll get into them. They're really easy to understand. First, your brightness. You can use a slider to increase or decrease it. It just changes how bright everything in your world is. So if we turn it down, everything's gonna be really dark. You can turn it all the way down if you don't want to see anything, or you can turn it all the way up if you don't want to see anything and blind yourself. Discord light might be like, but it kind of depends on what your lighting is already. But you don't want to, you don't ever want to bring this too high or too dark because that can, as you can see, it really affects how your game looks. But this is just, uh, this is just brightness by itself. If you had other lighting already set up, then it'll look a little different. But if you want a more realistic look, uh, make it a little brighter, but we'll get to all this. But I'll set this back to zeros for now so we can look at contrast. Next we have contrast. Contrast changes how contrasted colors in your game are. So if you put it at 1, you're going to see the lights are really light and the darks are really dark. If you make a negative one, then nothing's going to be contrasted. They're all going to look really similar. And this is going to be gray. So if you want it to look a little bit flat and gray, then you want to turn your contrast down. But you always want to put your contrast up I would always recommend having your contrast up like 0.3 or 0.5 depending on what you want for cartoony stuff you can maybe go a little higher but for more realistic stuff you can leave it like 0.3 this really makes our colors kind of stand out everything looks more defined but next we have saturation saturation is how saturated colors are if you don't know what saturation is you'll kind of see right now but if we increase the slider, you'll see all the colors be like stand out a lot more. So you see these blues look bluer, the greens look greener, the reds look redder. If you turn it all the way down, everything is gray. So this is the simplest way to make your game look monochrome, just make your saturation negative one. If you want a sort of kind of sad vibe or whatever. Typically a little bit less saturation can make your game look a little more realistic. But definitely increase your saturation a little more if you're going for a cartoony low poly type of build like a simulator. I will have tutorials in the future on how to do simulator lighting. All sorts of lighting tutorials that are catered to more like a specific thing. But I want to teach you guys how to understand lighting first before I teach you guys how to make specific lighting. Because a lot of lighting is kind of understanding how it works and with that you can kind of apply your own knowledge and make everything look how you want it. But I will have some videos that are just kind of presets and that you can follow along with and make your own changes to. We want to make it look a little brighter. So there we go. Now everything kind of looks a little more colorful, a little more playful. If we put it down a little bit, then it's going to look more realistic. The lighting does kind of look a little bit sad, but that's really only because I haven't done any of these properties. But I think the final video of this series will be putting all these tutorials together and fully revamping the lighting for this village preset but next we have bloom bloom essentially makes uh, lights brighter sort of neons and stuff makes the sun brighter when you look at it and stuff like that it really gives you a lot of freedom with lights especially neon so say if we have a part and that's neon let me go ahead and make this neon real quick and we'll just drag it out here for now sometimes neons can look pretty bright in roblox especially if they're bigger if you want the neons glow to be brighter then you can use bloom for that Let's look at this. Intensity is obviously how intense the bloom will be. The size is how big the bloom is going to be. As you can see, if we increase it or decrease it, that glow becomes bigger or that glow becomes smaller depending on where we have it. Threshold kind of determines how bright something can be before it has bloom on it. So if we have it all the way at 4, it's not going to be affected by bloom because it's not like brightness of 4 or whatever. It's a little more technical, but basically the lower you put it, the brighter the bloom will be. So now you can see our neon looks extremely bright and you know, oh, let's say you don't want that. So let's go ahead and adjust our bloom and we can make it exactly how we want. So if you are having trouble with your neons and they look a little wonky, then definitely use bloom. It can help them look way better. But bloom also affects our sun. So let's go ahead and remove sun rays real quick. As you can see, if we increase our 
increase and decrease our bloom it changes the brightness of the sun and also kind of the sky back here so if we decrease our size you're gonna see the sun get smaller yeah that's all i have for this tutorial if you guys did enjoy please like comment and subscribe and remember to join the discord we have a lot of fun stuff over there anyways i'll see you guys in the next one peace